Um, the NFL is going away. I have this theory that like New Orleans is going to be like one of the last cities that even cares about football before it dies. Um, I yeah, think we're kind of we're that. kind of on the path that. But that those aren't my real theories about the season. About the season, my theory about the season is this: Do you know about Dan Arnold? Uh, Kevin Arnold's dad from the Wonder Years? No. Dan Arnold, the tight end. Dan Arnold, the tight end from Wisconsin Platteville. Yeah. He is, is going into his third year. Yeah. Uh, with us? With the Saints. One of our Wait, is he a tight end or a fullback? He's a tight end. Okay. He's got our tight end. He's an undrafted uh, rookie in a couple years back, but he spent the whole year on injured injured reserve. And then last year, he started like not really doing a whole lot. But then as the season went on, he started to kind of get involved a little bit. And you could see him as they as they started to need a tight end towards the end of the season because Ben Watson was cashed every now and then. Like, oh, who is that? It's Dan Arnold, and he would make a brilliant play. And then a couple plays later, maybe something bad would happen, and they had to pull him back out of the game. He dropped the ball. Yeah, something like that. Um, but the story. He dropped the ball in the practice. The story <laughs> towards towards the end of the season was, oh, the slow emergence of Dan Arnold. Like he's <laughs> is he gonna be a thing? He kind of roots for little Dan. Roseanne ass name by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's who he is. Yeah. Sorry. And then in the NFC Championship <laughs> game, yeah. on like the biggest stage in the most tense moment, there this, there was a play where he had had the ball in his hands in the back of the end zone. And drop that touchdown, that really probably would have made the difference. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Dan, like, just in that moment, blew it. And he spent the whole off season feeling like shit. Like, oh, like I haven't got there yet. He's not there yet. And so he's going into training camp, and he's still on that, on that, on that path. You know, he's like, he does a great thing, and then something bad happens. He does a great thing, something bad happens. Uh, like Sean, pay, Sean, they asked Sean about him, and he even like kind of said some things about like, oh, you know, the kid is great, but he's got a, he's got a, that light's gonna go on when he gets that confidence. <laughs> so he doesn't, he doesn't have it yet. But he, it, it's possible. It's the thing he can, he can reach. Oh, so in the first preseason game this year, uh, Dan made a great play. He caught a, he caught a pass from Bridgewater, and he like bowls over a guy and reach, reaches out the ball, and like made this really dramatic touchdown. And oh, Dan was coming. He's here. And then like the next possession, the ball goes into Dan's hands, cradles it right here. Pops right back out. Dude catches it, runs back the other way for uh pick six. Dan's back ooh. Dan <laughs> Dan's on top of the world, Dan's back down right around. Right, low Dan. High Dan and low Dan. <laughs> yep. So this season the real the real question is, can Dan do it? If Dan does it, then we got a chance. He emerges. He'll fill in that last. Dan doesn't do it, right? So I got this feeling that we're going to be watching Dan real closely. He's going to be be the barometer. Yeah. The indicator. uh, uh, Called Groundhog. There's going to be... Dan sees his shadow. We're going to win the Super Bowl. If he doesn't, he doesn't see his shadow. He's a winner. That's right. He sees his shadow and gets scared. (laughs) Goes into the fucking thing. Goes in the hole. We're not going to win. There's a, I, I've got these visions of like, you know, Dan catching like the winning touchdown to get us back to seven and nine at the end of the season. <laughs> That's but, what I was thinking. Yeah. About, so. I was like, well, but also like, know, we could just pull a seven and nine out of our ass. There's like other narratives I've got in my head about it too. Like, you know, in week one, like Dan is about to score and he fumbles out the back of the end. And, <laughs> In week three, uh, we miss a field goal at the end of the game because Dan left his roller skate on the field for some reason. Dad, do we have another tight end? Uh, yeah, we got like a whole bunch of tight ends. We got uh, uh, Ben did re- end up retiring. Yeah, real? Ben's gone, but they signed a really high-profile free agent, um, Jared Cook. Oh, yeah, who's I've heard of him. Yeah, he's big time. <laughs> and um, and then they've got uh, uh, Josh Hill's back. So Dan Deal. Yeah. Deal. Deal. But anyway, so that's all right. Well, we'll have to do Dan Arnold watch throughout the season. Okay. Yep. It's it's the season of Dan. We're, we'll we'll check him out. I think we're gonna win the Super Bowl. Okay. One more time. 
in Miami. 